Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So I have this MKV file here, which I've opened up in Media Player Classic. And if I go to my audio tracks here, I've got the English and Chinese audio tracks. And what I'd be able to do is to remove the English track so the Chinese audio track plays only. And I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. So I don't want to convert this because that's going to be a very lengthy process. I have a lot of episodes of the show that I want to go through. What we're basically going to do is remux the MKV. So we're just going to extract that audio track out of it. So it's going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to leave a link to this tool in the description. It's called MKV Tool Nix. And we're going to download this from FossHub and we'll download the Windows installer version. So I'm going to download this now and we can go ahead and install it. You can also launch this from your downloads folder. I'm going to quit out of this now and we're going to go through the install process. So here we're going to press OK and Next and then install MKV Tool Nix. Now we're going to press Next and Finish. If we can't find the shortcut and it hasn't launched for us, what we can do is to go into Program Files and then go to MKV Tool Nix and then launch the application. So specifically, we want the GUI so we can actually see what we're doing. And now we can go ahead and start this process. So the first thing we're going to do is to find the file. And basically, what I'm going to do is to drag and drop this into the source. So it's actually found the file that we want. And here are the tracks that we have. So this is the video track and these are the two audio tracks and the subtitles. So here is the English track and actually this is the one I want to remove. So I'm going to untick the codec for MP3 so this is no longer there. Alternatively, if you don't want to delete the track, you can just change the default track. So for example here, if I click the English side, I can click this to not default anymore and then change this Chinese track to default. Alternatively, you could also just move the Chinese track up so that it's higher up on the list. But anyway, that process is now done. The Chinese track is there. I'm actually going to remove the English track entirely. And then once we're ready, we can actually rename this if we want. It's actually named with a specific thread link. I'll rename this Clone Wars S01E01. And then in order to continue the next process, I'm going to press Start Multiplexing. So this process should be really fast because we're not re-encoding, we're just remuxing that file. So now that file is complete, I'm going to double click on it. And if I right click on audio track, I can see that only the Chinese track is available. So this is all working correctly as intended. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other interesting tutorials on my YouTube channel. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.